Greetings from Florida. Here we're working on a 2012 to 2018 BMW 650i. This is the passenger side. The video is at double speed. It'll go through much faster for you. We're changing the regulator, the cables and the cross brace that pull the window up and down. Your motor is probably fine. I was feeling around for, I think, a screw that I might have dropped in there. I was by here before and took a look at it to make sure that's what the problem was. So you've got a plastic cap behind the chrome handle and I believe Torx 20 screws. You're going to take off that carefully. You don't want to break it. Also, Torx 20 screws. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask right here on YouTube. If you find this helpful, do me a favor, like, L-I-K-E, like the video. That'll help other people, such as yourself, find it when they need help with this particular repair. Yeah, there is a screw that goes in there. I, I just don't remember what I did. And I'm sorry about the, uh, the glare from the sun, but this is a working farm. It's the best I can offer you. There we go. You might need a uh, extension to get in there. Panel pulls out and lifts up. You've got um, a plastic clip for the chrome handle. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's all on a wiring harness. Nope, individual wires, my mistake. I think the reason I'm resting the door panel there is I wasn't crazy. Of, I don't want to unplug the airbag, that's for sure. Unless you have an airbag reset tool, don't unplug the airbag. So I am unplugging all of the wiring harnesses. You can unbolt the nuts that go to the airbag. I think I'm just going to let it hang. And people say, you know, if you unhook um, the battery, you won't reset the airbag light, but you will. Uh, you, the airbags don't pop that easily. They, you really have to be in a collision to convince the airbag to pop. I think I am removing the airbag here. I'm just taking off the uh, 10 millimeter nuts that hold the airbag to the panel. And I was going to let it hang. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I think it fell off of the connector but it did not trigger the airbag reset light. And again, there's a $20 tool to reset your airbag light um, if you need it. You can get them online. Next up, bringing the glass down so I can get access to the bolts. $2.99 suction cup from Harbor Freight. Great place to go for inexpensive tools. So if I'm not mistaken, the bolt on the right uh, goes all the way through the glass, and it's a Torx 40. The bolt on the left, I believe, is a Torx 30.
And then on this one, you've got a pin to remove. There's a, uh, a pin you're going to take off, and then you should be able to back the glass off the regulator. 10 millimeter bolts all around. Probably one on the bottom of the door panel on the right hand side. Yep. And I probably do have to remove the glass to get the regulator out. So we're going to remove the belt molding. I'm not sure if it's going to come off, but at least loosen it. And as you saw, I just tried to move the glass up enough to get the regulator out. I may still have to remove it. Yep, took it out. Be careful. Slide it over. And you might want to put a circle around where those nuts went. And the reason I say that is when I went to put this back in, I used the wrong hole for it and couldn't, obviously couldn't get it in. And it took me another three or four minutes to figure that out, which you'll get to watch. So now we're just taking out the motor. We're going to use that again. Uh, I believe Torx 30s, could be Torx 20, but I think it's a Torx 30. Motor comes right off. I'm going to put the motor back onto the new regulator. Available at a BMW dealer near you. Sure that's on tight. Got it. But here is where I put it in the wrong holes on the door. So again, before you take those nuts off, you might want to just put a little mark on there with a magic marker to uh, identify where they go. Because then it took me a few minutes to realize that that wasn't where they go. Which I could have cut out of this video, but you're welcome to just forward to the next chapter.
See, I'm desperately trying to get that post to line up with the hole, but obviously it's not going to because I don't have the bottom hole on the right hole. Right there is my mistake. It should be the hole to the left. I went ahead and tightened it down, even though that wasn't the correct hole. Now I'm going to put in the other one. I'm going to have to take the whole thing out again. And I'm confused as to why it's not lining up. And I think I just figured it out. So there you go. There's the correct holes. By the way, the bottom hole on the right slides back and forth. So if the glass seems like it's too far leaning out of the cockpit or leaning too far into the cockpit, you can adjust that. And you can adjust that even after you've put the door panel back on. That's there so you can move it back and forth to move the glass back and forth a little bit. Now the clip on the left-hand side, right above the white, motor on the regulator. I had said it was a Torx bolt. It is not. It's actually a white clip that has the, uh, that lines up into the track on the glass and you're going to put, make sure that that metal clip is on there and then you're going to pop the ball bearing from the clip on the glass into that. Oh, I was looking for, I, I misplaced the clip, so I've got another one out of the car. I keep those with me. You might buy a new one before you start this if you want. See that clip, it goes in and it slides into the channel on, on that right there. And then um, the ball bearing from the glass clip is going to pop into that. On the right-hand side, the 40, Torx 40 bolt goes through the glass and into the um, other side of the clip that's on the glass. Don't over tighten it. You don't want to break your glass. I'm plugging in the switch so I can move it up and down. Oh, I just realized I accidentally unplugged the uh, airbag. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask right here on YouTube. I'll answer them within a day. If you like the video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and like the video. That'd be helpful for me. Thank you. If you like videos of window regulators, feel free to subscribe. It's all I do. If you're in Tampa Bay or Minnesota, Florida, give me a call. I'll do it for you. And I'm putting the belt molding back on. Moving it up and down, tapping down the belt molding. It 
seems to be pretty good. And don't forget, it comes down a, oh, a little WD-40 on the channel on the left, right there. Um, makes it a little bit easier. And don't forget, as you close the door, it's going to come down a quarter of an inch and uh, then go back up when you, when you close the door. So you might want to see if that all lines up. Putting the moisture barrier back on. And it just keeps condensation from coming towards the door panel. Putting the airbag back on. Um, again, just, uh, I believe, 10 millimeter nuts. And people always get nervous about setting the airbag off. You're not going to set the airbag off. The car has to think you're about to die before it actually releases the airbag. Plugging everything back in. And I don't think there's anything else to tell you about the rest of this. So feel free to watch the end if you'd like. Again, try to like my video if you could. And thanks for watching and have a good week.